Alright, so your feet close together, stand up tall, hips forward, arms together, relax the neck, deep breaths. Fill the whole lungs. You can even do the arms down at the side. Close your eyes if you want. Make it, make it nice, you know. Relax. Next, we're gonna take one more deep breath. Spread the arms wide. Look up, spread the fingers if you want. And now start to bend forward. Slowly exhaling, all the way down. Make sure the top of your head facing all the way down. No need, no need to strain your neck, all the way down. Come up like halfway, flex the lower back. You can have your hands on the knees or straight out. Now bend down a little bit, arms behind, touch the palms together, straight up, and then relax the head again. A few breaths in there, release, hands back on the ground, now we're going to go to the floor. Step your feet back. This is called plank position. Now we're gonna go into upward dog. Only the legs, only the ankles are touching the floor. You can have the hips on the floor if you want, but your back gets a better stretch if it's the feet. Keep the shoulders up. You can even look up. Take nice breaths this whole time. Next thing we're gonna do Come back to plank for a second. Now downward dog. Keep your steady breathing. Stretch those shoulders out in front of you. Keep the legs straight, don't bend them. Ideally, you're gonna get the, the heels all the way towards the floor. And then from here, you're gonna alternate between your leg in the sky and your knee to your forehead. So for example, right side. Hold for a few seconds. Big inhale. Knee to the forehead. The way up. It, this movement will be a combination of balance and stretching. So you're going to get up on your left side, hang out for a second, grab right foot, right hand. Oh, see, I wasn't set. Grab that. Now bend forward. stretch between my left hamstring and my right quadricep and it's a balance movement. Get your feet nice and close together. This one is not too much balance but a little bit of balance. Mainly a really good stretch you're gonna like this. Inhale the hands up nice and wide. Clean over to one side. Stretches all right here all the way from the hip all the way up. Great ones to do in the morning. And then obviously do the other side. This next movement, stretch out the hips and the groin. Open the legs up, pull the feet in close, 
grab onto the feet. Keep pushing. Use your legs to push your own legs down. Like rather than that, work on it. Like you are the person in charge here. Stretch that out, feel fantastic on the groin. Now you're gonna swing your leg all the way through, right to where your hands used to be. Now you can come up. And this is called crescent pose. You want your hips to be squared away. You don't wanna be offset too much that way or offset too much this way. It is a little bit of balance involved. Arms straight up. Back leg going towards the back. You should feel this in your hips. Start. All right, another variation you can do from the, from the crescent pose. From there, come forward a little bit, and I'm gonna go up onto this leg. Straight out, a lot of balance here, and then you can bend forward. Oftentimes people aren't flexible enough, you gotta practice. You might be up here, you might be way up here on the shin. So find work, find whatever works for you. And while maintaining that height, parallel to the ground if you can. And so this one, we're going to squat the leg in and push it back out. Like extending leg extensions. So from here, Bend forward, touch your forehead to the knees, back out. This will open up the glutes, the hips, as well as stretch out the hamstrings. And it's also balanced, you'll notice I have my left hand down there, working on the balance. Equally as important part of the workout and the yoga practice is the cool down at the very end of the workout. Every time, Throughout the whole session, you've been either in poses that have been working the muscles, promoting overall blood flow throughout the whole body. Last part of the workout should always be corpse position. This allows your body to balance out all the blood. Everything will flow properly. And just sit here and take deep breaths for like a minute or two. Hang out as long as you want. And trust me, this is the best part of the workout. After working hard the whole time, sweating, once you get to do this, it's fantastic. Thanks for watching the video.